guys, welcome back to Toys with Cats. Um, today I am going to test out three Eddie Bauer games. Um, so I don't have all of their prices because some of them got out of the Eddie Bauer thing and I forgot their prices. But this is still an hour Eddie Bauer and it's for $17. Um, so today I have this game. I forgot its name. And I really don't know how to play it. Like, I, I used to know how to play it because I had another one, but now I forgot it. But, um, um, a checkers game and Jenga. These are meant for adventure, like if you're going on an adventure and you're doing it like a road trip or a, like, camping, if you're camping and um, if you're like in an RV, like you're camping but you're still in the RV, not in the camp, tent, I um, mean, but um, so first let's start with the checkers. I want to see if it's high quality and if it's good and if it's practical for going on adventure or is it the usual checkers and if there is a point in buying this. So here is the game, and you have to open it. It comes in with 12 black pieces and 12 white pieces, and it also has um, chess pieces as well. Here are all the pieces. I think it's good because it's foldable and you can put the pieces all here and close it. But that's just so fun. Let me arrange all the pieces and see what will happen next. Okay, so now it's all arranged and um, there are a few good things I have noticed already. So first of all, the pieces are magnetic. So if you're like on a road trip and the, uh, the car is like, and you're on the wheels, if you get what I mean, like the car is moving, and then you could still play it because the pieces don't fall off. And Another thing is, if you don't understand, like, how this will work, like, if you're supposedly over here and became the king, and then you won't know how to, like, if you flip it, and then there's not another side. Then what you can do is, um, just take, um, an out piece, like, for example, I have a black piece that's dead, and I was holding on to it, then I can just attach it like that by the magnetic. And that won't fall off the game as well because they're connected and it also won't fall off. These two won't fall off because they're connected as well. And so these are the good things about checkers. I really can't find that many bad things. It can get scratched easily and well, yeah, like I really don't know that many bad things to be honest because it's so good. Like, it's such a fun game and if you're going on a trip, then this would be the best. Well, so far, because this is the only thing I have, I have opened. So, let me put all the pieces back. Oops. And we can see what pieces we can, what game we can try next. Okay guys, so the pieces are back and in, and it's into the bag again, and yeah. So next we can try Jenga. This Jenga is also for traveling, and yeah. I hope these pieces are magnetic too, because, <laughs> I mean, these, if these pieces would be magnetic and then it wouldn't fall off. 
but so that would mean that it's not magnetic and I'm just telling you guys this that if it's not magnetic then it would be pretty bad for this road trips. So here is the Jenga. If you're confused on how to play this Jenga because classic game of Jenga is just wooden blocks and you put them together. But this one is colorful and it also has these dice with it. Let me assemble it all and then I'm going to teach you. Before I assemble it, I just want to show you things that you have to do when you're assembling. You have to make sure that all the pieces are mixed together good. And you know, there's two ways you can play it, but the way I was taught is by mixing all the pieces and start building your thing. Don't like separate the greens and separate from the yellows and the oranges and all that. Another way to play it is by separating it and then making the block. But I think, I, I'm not really sure how to play it, but the way we play it is by mixing it all up and then uh, make, make it. I think that's a way funner way to do it too. Okay guys, now I made the Jenga, but um, it took me a long time to make it. And it's like really flimsy, like, like you know the regular ones, they are like stay put together. But this one is like really clean, so it like falls off. But so here is the dice. And what you have to do is you have to roll the dice and see the color you get. I got yellow. So I have to take a yellow one out of it. And by the way guys, um if you have a if you have two colors by together, then it's fine. Like two same colors and that's fine. Like, it doesn't have to be perfect. So you don't have to like like make it all different colors. So if it's together then don't worry. This is like really fine. So I have to find a yellow. So, um, just so you know, a piece fell out. So just so you know, these blocks are really f um, flimsy, so if you're going on a road trip, I don't recommend this. But if you're staying in a hotel or like anything like that, then you can still play with it. But I went on a road trip just last week ago, and this didn't help me that much. This did. Just so you know. Um, so Jenga isn't a really great option for traveling, but um, the only cool part about this is that it's mini. But otherwise, I think um, it can fall super easily, and trust me, I played by the Jenga before, and it at least is a little sturdy. But I love the colors, I love the, um, the game with the dice. I hope I'm teaching you guys how to play it the right way. It's because I, my, me and my family figured it out by ourselves. So yeah. I'm going to pack this and we're going to see the next game. So now it's turn for the third game. The game I don't know the name of. This game isn't that much popular but, well, it is popular a little bit. And by the way, I have another game that we bought from Eddie Bauer. I am planning to show it to you on another video, but I can have it today, so probably another video. And just so you know, this video is for adults and children. Like, it's not like inappropriate, and your parents need to know like if the games are good for them as well. Then 
they can see this video, so I'm gonna upload it in both of the ways. I'm just saying that um, because it's not like only men for children. The Eddie Bauer, like these aren't toys, these are board games. So yeah. Here is this one. This one is also like that um, foldable, which I really like. And I love its design, it's like the things over here. I don't know what that is, but it's really cool. So it can open just like that. And this time it has like this, so you can fit it right onto it. So that's, that's a really neat thing to do. So it's pretty long. I kind of know how to play this game. These are, look like almonds to me. Like, let me show it to you. This like, looks like almonds. I don't know if any pieces are missing. I hope not. So I remember that you have to put like three into each thing i hope i'm doing it right but yeah honestly guys i'm not any expert i'm just like doing it the way i remember it and to be these almonds can get lost like really quick so yeah this is really dangerous to take on a trip like, if you lost one, and then you're done for. As I said, we had another game like this, like, exactly the same. And instead of almonds, it was, like, sprinkles. And it was, like, really, really small. So, yeah. You can also play this game with marbles. I think we did that instead of using sprinkles, just so it doesn't fall. I think you just have to put it until it's even in all of them. I thought, yeah, to put three. I think I should have closed the video. Yeah, I think this is taking way too much time. Okay, so now I think it's even. So I don't know how to play this game exactly, but I remember that like there are two teams, there's one over here, then there's another over there. And what you have to do is like take one bead and put it in the other, and then it's their turn and they play. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't know how you're gonna do that. But then you have to do that again and again until it reaches your goal. Yeah, something like that. I forgot it, but um, yeah, so this is one person bold and that's the other person's bold. All oh, this assembling for nothing. Okay, so anyways, I think the best board game I loved was Checkers. It's because it was magnetic. I don't know how these games would be magnetic like Jenga on this game, but Checkers was awesome because it was magnetic and it, the pieces wouldn't fall off. And it like, honestly my favorite game is Checkers as well. So probably that's one of the reasons. But um, yeah, these these pieces would fall off and Jenga was really flimsy. Like I know Jenga is supposed to be that much, but the regular Jenga is a lot more stronger. And like that one is like too much sleek. So yeah. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to Torsos Cast so you can be updated to new videos. Please subscribe and then if you um, ring the bell so you can be updated when there are new videos. And um, if you like this video, then please give me a like. Give it a like. And um, <laughs> yeah. Thanks for watching. And yeah. Bye.